Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing. We get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that Goldman Sachs investment banker Fabrice Touré, who called himself the fabulous Fab, appears to have been hung out to dry by Goldman Sachs. He was at the heart of the allegations against Goldman Sachs that it misled investors over a CDO. Now, Fabulous Fab is now on long-term leave and his accreditation with the UK authorities has been pulled. And Goldman Sachs appear to be focusing on him to, with, to distract investors from the fraud allegations. Meanwhile, Apple has come out with very strong profits overnight, up 90%. Share price hit a record high. It's now worth more than 220 billion US dollars. It's actually more than Google, and only third behind ExxonMobil and Microsoft. Back in New Zealand, the Crafer Farm story is the one that just keeps giving. Receivers have come out overnight and alleged that the Crafers are uncooperative and unreasonable by refusing to leave. They've also alleged that the Crafers assisted in a massive cattle rustling exercise at 4 a.m. in the morning in late October. 1,450 cows were taken off the properties without the permission of the receivers. And finally, in Britain, the Tories have warned that the bond markets could collapse and the IMF may have to intervene to rescue the British economy if there is a hung parliament after the May 6 election. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 99, brought to you in association with the BNZ.